You're a big supporter of the Prime Minister. Mm -hmm. uh, have you apologised personally to him and have you spoken to him since these revelations emerged? So I've written to the PM and said, look, I, I'm, I'm sorry. He'll write back to me. We, we sort of have a, a pace at which we, we can write to and fro because obviously the man's running the country. He'll write back to me. But I, I get the distinct impression he's a little bit disappointed with what I did. I'm disappointed in what I did. But he feels like, to me, one of the people I let down. I mean, my mum sent me a text, and, and I'm a teeny bit of a mum's boy. If my mum says something, it's kind of impactful for me. Say? She said, I hope this is not true. And I had to go back and say, I was there. I have an uncle called Dennis who's taken our, our granddad to hospital, and he texts me from the hospital saying, I hope this party stuff isn't true. And I had to go back and say, unfortunately, it is. And so letting down your family is almost the worst thing, almost I, worse than letting down the PM. I'd say one thing, letting down the activists. There's, there's people up and down London who've never done any political activity mm. before, who gave me money to the point so I could mm. print leaflets, delivered those leaflets, supported me on Twitter. I really, that's, that's the pleasure and the burden of being in this position.